Hi guys, good morning. So now we will start a series of CAD paper discussions and today we are going to start off with CAD 2008 verbal section. Uh, we've done a lot of concepts by now and we should be comfortable with basic verbal concepts, basic DILR concepts, right? Now let's apply all these concepts to actual CAD papers, right? So first of all, uh, what CAD papers knowledge do we actually have? So we have official CAD papers starting from 2003 to 2008. Um, then we have official CAD papers. So when I say official, it's the CAD uh, you know, organization, the IMs themselves, who have released these papers. Uh, so you have 2003 to 2008 and 2017 to 2019. After which, uh, after 2008, the CAD became online. And there were various slots. And for quite a few years, till 2016, you only have questions from memory and we have done some of those questions as well. You also have some questions from memory from 2002 to, 2000, uh, to 1991, right? But uh, we will mostly concern ourselves in the beginning with 2008 till 2004. And then as we approach the CAT, we will move towards the CAT pattern. So we'll move towards 2017 to 2019. So first of all, why do we do CAT papers, guys? So there have been repetition of actual questions as it is in 2009 and 10 because I think they had a lot of slots right, and they had to make a lot of uh, questions accordingly. So there were actual repetitions. Even if you leave those repetitions aside, there are still a lot of similar questions that keep coming. So see the CAT, nobody has really defined the CAT syllabus, right? The CAT syllabus is defined by what comes in the paper. The more you do papers, the better you have a handle on what can come in the CAT. Right? Even in DI, there have been repetition of similar set types like pie charts, like football games. Okay? And verbal, of course, we need to understand their reasoning because that's how we will choose our answers as well. So verbal is slightly gray with respect to that. right? And hence, knowing the paper setters reasoning is very important. So these are the reasons we will be doing CAT papers. And as I said, we will start off with CAT 2008 verbal. And then we'll move on to DI and math and we'll move a little backwards and then we'll start moving towards with all our great energy, right? Towards the current CAT paper. So we'll start off with 17, 18, 19 as we move closer to the CAT. That makes sense, right? So great, who am I? Hi, I'm Munira Lokhanwala and I'm Calcutta alumna, a serial 100 percentiler in CAT, a 99 percentiler in GMAT. I also have a CAT verbal book uh, published by Wiley and available on Amazon. You can find me on an Academy YouTube channels. You can also find me on the app uh, for special classes, etc. So just search for an Academy uh, in Play Store, install it. Within that, go for the Plus Cat courses and get subscription. We have guys, as I keep repeating, that we have great content, a lot of educators. So there is immense choice. And that will really help your preparation, right? Uh, which subscription to go for? We have a lecture can maybe we can talk about it. You can use the code uh, Munira10 to get 10% discount, right? So great. Um, let's start off with the puzzle that I gave you all um, yesterday on Sunday, right? You have the people of Apple or Apple or whatever. They never use odd digits. So before we get on to solving these questions, see guys, these digits are just symbols, right? We give them meaning. So when I see a number like 312, I give meaning to this by saying it's 3 into 100 plus 1 into 10 plus 2. I mean, I could easily just make a you know new question by saying that 2 becomes, you know, this check, 1 becomes a circle, and 3 becomes, you know, like this, something like this. So I can make my own symbols, right? And then I can say, okay, how will you write this number? So then it's very easy. We'll write it like this, correct? Uh, so point is that, first of all, when you are no longer using odd digits, but you are counting one as two, right? Four, uh, sorry, two as four, six as uh, three as six, four as eight, right? When you are counting like this, that means this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4. And now instead of writing uh, 5, right, 
as 10, you write it as 2, 0, which is 1, 0. Because 2 is 1, right? So, first lesson for us here is that this is like working in base 5. But in base 5, you would have the symbols, normal symbols, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Here, these symbols are 0, 2, 4, 6 and 8. So, first thing we'll do is rewrite this in base 5, normal. And then we'll just rewrite the symbols, okay? So, how do you write in base 5? So, one way, of course, guys, is to just keep finding remainders. I don't like that way. It's slightly counterintuitive. Right? Kabhi dukan wala aapko bolta hai ki aapka bill hua hai 1 rupiah, 20 rupiah, 300 rupiah, right? It, that doesn't, it's not how it works. So, I also like to think of numbers from beginning to end. So, I will just see uh, triple 1 as 4 into 25 plus uh, 2 into 5. Plus one. So I'm expressing this in powers of 5. Right? So once you see this as 25, this becomes 4 into 5 square plus 2 into 5 is to 1 plus 1 into 5 is to 0. And uh, we are in base 5 already because it's 4. In base 5, 5 square will be 100. In base 5, 5 raised to 1 will be 10. And this, of course, 1 will stay as it is. So in base 5, this number will be 4 to 1. But our symbol, our symbol for 1 is 2, our symbol for 2 is 4, and our symbol for 4 is 8. So, an Ebler will write this as 8, 4, 2. Right? Great. Let's now look at verbal questions, guys. So, uh, we have done RC earlier also. And as I said, you should pause here. Read this. Pause here. Pause, right? Read this. And then you should uh, look at the way we read and the way we solve. Whenever we reach a new question, guys, pause, solve and come back. It may be the case that you've already taken the paper, then that's great. You can straight away look at the solution. If you haven't, please pause, guys. Okay, great. A remarkable aspect of art of the present century is the range of concepts and ideologies it, which it embodies, right? So art embodies a you know, big range of concepts and technologies. Uh, it is almost tempting to see a pattern within the art field which is imposed upon it afterwards similar to that which exists, exists under the umbrella of science. So art or science, it is tempting to see a pattern, right, where the general term covers a whole range of separate though interconnecting activities. Any parallelism is, however, in this instant, instance at least misleading. So don't believe that there is, you know, art or science where there is a whole range of separate through interconnecting activities. Don't believe that. A scientific de discipline develops systematically once it's bare tenets. Yeah, of course, science ke liye base chahiye. But many of the concepts of modern art by contrast have resulted because accidentally people meet up at certain times and certain places. The ideas generated by these chance meetings have two consequences. Firstly, a corpus of work remains as a concrete record of the events. Secondly, the ideas would themselves be disseminated because so many different people meet, right? The ideas get disseminated through different channels of communication, right? Seeds are often bore fruit in context far removed. Not all movements were exclusively concerned with innovation. Surrealism, for instance, this is an example, okay, how everything is not about new things. So surrealism has been accepted for a 17th century painting, right? and even a mysterious photograph. So briefly then, the concepts of modern art are of many different, often fundamentally different kinds and resulted from the exposure to them. So, you know, the concepts of modern art resulted from the exposures of, to the more complex phenomena of the 20th century, including an ever increasing knowledge of the thought and products of previous centuries. Different groups of artists would collaborate in trying to make sense of a rapidly changing world of visual and spiritual experience. Okay. We should hardly be surprised if no one, no one group succeeded completely, but achievements though relative have been considerable. So the achievements of this uh, concepts of modern art and the dissemination, right, is landmarks have been established and new language tools have been created for those who follow. Okay, great. The codifying of art is often criticized. Certainly one can, so, you know, you cannot codify art is what they are saying. It is criticized. Certainly one can understand that artists are warrior queen pigeonholed. 
since they act to think of themselves as individuals okay so nobody wants to come in a category the notion of self expression however no longer carries quite the weight there is good reason so criticize bolte but there is good reason to accept the ideas as having attained some independent status and independence which is not without its own value right the time factor is important as an art movement slips into time it ceases to be a living organism because it becomes a fossil but it is not useless or uninteresting just as scientists can reconstruct right an artist decipher whole webs of intellectual and creative possibility from a dead art movement the artist can match the crystallized patterns creative patterns crystallize right As T.S. Eliot observed, no one starts anything from scratch. However, consciously you may try to live in the present. You are still involved with the nexus of behavior patterns bequeathed from the past. The original and creative person is not someone who ignores, but someone who is able to translate and develop them so that they can conform more exactly to his and our present needs. Okay, great. So. This side talks about. how science and art are different right and uh, this meeting has led to two different things and how modern art has taken place because of increasing knowledge of the thought and products of earlier centuries and modern art has led to landmarks being established right all this is spoken about here in the next one it talks about giving some sort of generalization to art okay and they're saying that it's possible now because you know as art becomes history it becomes like a fossil and then you can analyze that fossil and uh, of course we are always a product of our past that's how it ends now let's look at questions a fairly abstract topic many of the concepts of modern art have been the product of what so if you see uh concepts of modern art yahan pe art comes about right because of people meeting a scientific develop many of the by contrast have resulted from accidental meeting so there's a very very almost a direct question right that uh, you know the sentence also say it starts in the same manner yahan pe bhi many of the concepts jaise wo sentence shuru hua hai so there's accidental meetings it is not rich and powerful there is no systematic investigation it is definitely the state state means government right the government has nothing to do here and there's no deliberations science mein hota hai wo sab art mein nahi hota hai right so one is out and the only possible is third option in the passage the word fossil so fossil bola gaya hai right because it slips into time and it ceases to be a living organization uh, organism right and it is used to uh, understand how art right whole webs of intellectual and creative possibility from the recorded structure of a dead art movement so it is already dead okay so let us quickly eliminate obvious wrong answers bola gaya hai ki it is interesting and useful right no longer uninteresting as are two negatives the sentence says no longer uninteresting if you go back right here correct let me just get the cursor here uh this is not to say that it becomes so there's there double negative basically they're saying that it is interesting and useful so first option is obviously wrong okay then we analyze it so and to indicate the barrenness of no there's no barrenness all artistic creation is great right prehistoric life to normal ho gaya jo hum sochte hain fossil ke bare mein obviously it's not that so it's a tie between 2 and 5 right so this talks about passing of an era temporal passing bataya hai clearly history ke bare mein kuch nahi bataya that it has to be a historic art movement so i think it's a good idea for you all to just go back and check ke Ta- see temporal perspective is given but nothing mentioned about history right so between 2 and 5 your answer will be 5 and not 2 right 2 galat hai because of history right so 2 is wrong and 5 is right question 3 in the passage which of the following may lead 
टू एरोनियस तो ये पैसेज शुरू ही उधर से होता है राइट के रिमार्केबल एंड इट इज टेम्पटिंग टू सी अ पैटर्न बिकॉज इफ यू सी इट एज ए सेपरेट तो इंटर यहां से शुरू होता है ना आपका मिसलीडिंग कंक्लूजन ये टेम्पटेशन यहां से शुरू होता है सो दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम यू हैव टू से दैट यू नो इफ वी थिंक ऑफ रे आर्ट एंड साइंस लाइक दिस इट विल लीड टू अ रॉन्ग कंक्लूजन बिकॉज दे दम सेल्स आर सींग दैट इट इज इट गिवस अ टेम्पटिंग यू नो एनालॉजी विच मे नॉट बी ट्रू सो आंसर हैज टू बी first option both in general include a gamut of distinct but interconnecting activities innovation see the thing is na science ke bare mein aur kuch bataya hi nahi hai science ke bare mein sirf do cheeze batayi hai right ek to this is the uh, analogy to art one thing and the second thing is say, science basic tenets ke upar bana hai ye innovation collaboration science ke bare mein aur kuch bataya hi nahi hai itna so the only possibility is option 1 next the range of concepts embodied right why do you have this range if you check right what explains the range so it's here the concepts are of many different kinds and resulted from so yaha this right the concepts that range resulted from exposures of paint uh, and pay of painters and sculptors to the knowledge of the thought and products of earlier centuries so now let us see pehle ke thought process right ke sath we were artist are introduced so surrealism is just an example jo pehle aata hai landmarks is a, is a result of this it is not a cause right if you see guys when we were reading correct here baad mein landmarks or लैंग्वेज टूल्स आते हैं वी वुड बी हार्डली सरप्राइज बट अचीवमेंट दीज आर अचीवमेंट्स ऑफ द कॉम्प्लेक्स रेंज दीज आर नॉट एक्सप्लेनेशन सो यू नो यू कैन एलिमिनेट बोथ ऑप्शन टू एंड ऑप्शन थ्री क्विक एक्सचेंज ऑफ आइडिया टेक्नोलॉजी थी कहीं कहीं पे भी टेक्नोलॉजी हैज नॉट कम इन राइट सो फाइव इज ऑल्सो रॉन्ग थॉट प्रोसेस राइट and perceptions ye baat ki gayi hai so the answer is option 4 the passage uses an observation by t s eliot to imply that yeah creative process so first of all guys okay when we look at this right let's eliminate some of the obvious wrongs one we always carry forward the legacy of the past we don't we try right see always is a extreme word here okay represent recreate themselves in the exactly or recreate nahi hota recreate means copy right exactly recreate so two is wrong exact recreation nahi hota hai originality kaise thrive karega insulate greenhouse you know to insulate people has not been spoken about so four is also wrong right one also if you see are not original we are not saying it's not original we are saying that we are influenced by the past we are not saying that we are completely you know original hai ya unoriginal ka baat hi nahi we are saying we influenced right so five is very good innovations and original thinking interpret and develop so if you see ye contemporary needs ka bhi baat kiya gaya hai the original is creative person is not someone who ignores these patterns but someone so that they conform to our present needs present means what contemporary na so you are looking at the past and you are coming up with something that helps us for the present needs right so here guys the answer has to be five right great let's do the second passage so the second passage is quite long actually but if you uh, again as i said you pause it here read it pause it read it right and pause it here and read it okay so yeah it is a little longer than the first passage but it's really well organized okay so to summarize we can tentatively identify five stra strands i acknowledge that maya archaeologists still disagree vigorously among themselves in part because different strands varied in importance among different parts 
and detailed archaeological studies are available only for some times. So it remains puzzling and fail to recover after the collapse. So we don't know which, which strand is important, which cause is important, right? There are five strands. Okay, we don't know which strand is important. With this, that one strand consisted of population growth outstripping available resources, which is happening in Rwanda also, right? Too many farmers grew too many crops on too much landscape. Compounding that mispatch was the second one, that deforestation bhi ho raha tha, hillside erosion ho raha tha, which decreased the amount of usable farmland, uh, farmland. So both of these talk about how farmland became less, when more rather than less farmland was needed and possibly exacerbated by an anthropogenic. <laughs> anthropogenic. Now, it helps to know that anthropology is to do with the study of humankind. So, anthropo has to do with man, right? So, man-made drought most probably resulting from deforestation and by the struggle to prevent break-in ferns from overrunning the fields, right? So, these are the two strands, both have to do with farmland. The third strand consisted of increased fighting because people were, because of fewer resources. Maya warfare already endemic, means her jagatha, peaked just before the collapse. That is not surprising. You could have 5 million people in a small place. That warfare would have decreased further the amount of land because there would be no, between the fighting places, there would be no man lands, right? Was the strand of climate change. So this is the fourth strand, right? The drought was not the first drought that the Maya had lived through, but it was the most severe because of climate change. There was still, and previous droughts, there were still uninhabited parts of the Maya landscape. People could save themselves by moving to another side. So, if there is no land, you could go. But by the time of the classic collapse, all land was full. That we already know, okay, land is a major issue, right? So, third strand is the fighting. Fourth strand is climate change. And uh, we have to wonder why the king and the nobles. So, fifth problem is the kings and the nobles fail to recognize. Their attention was focused on short-term concerns of enriching themselves. The Maya kings and nobles did not heed long-term problems insofar as they perceived them, even if they perceived them, right? Finally, we still have some other past societies to consider before we switch our attention. So the whole thing is there's some correlation with the modern world. You must already be struck by some parallels between Maya and the past societies as on Ma Mangareva, which is something else, right? Some other society, the same thing, increasing warfare and civil strife. Similarly, on Eastern Island at Chaco Canyon, were followed swiftly by political and social collapse. Paralleling the eventual extension of agriculture, right? And from the members' footprint to the hills, Copan's inhabitants. So, here are three extra examples, right? How land ka fighting ka issue hua. Like Easter Island chiefs erecting ever larger statues, eventually crowned by Pukavo, more and like Anasazi elite treating themselves to necklaces. Maya kings sought to outdo each other. So, like, so the another common thread is that the chiefs were not really doing their job, right? Reminiscent in terms of the extravagant, conspicuous consumption by modern American CEOs. Oops. So that is the modern world. Okay, Jessa, these kings were, you know, uh, not looking at nitty gritty and just spending money. American CEOs are also doing it. The passive passivity of Easter chiefs and Maya kings completes our list of disquieting parallels. Okay, so compared to the earlier um, passage, which was smaller, this is a better passage. Even So the main lesson, first of all, is that guys, length pay mat jao, right? See, sometimes a smaller abstract passage is more difficult to read. It's a very easy passage to read, right? So that's why you need to do a little bit of selecting in the beginning where you're skimming and seeing whether you're understanding the topic at all or not, right? So let's look at questions now. According to the passage, which of the following best represents the factor that has been cited? So land is of course a fi factor, but is it only land or are there other resources? We can go back and check, right? So outstripping available resources. So it's not just land. Ye land ka example hai, right? Land is one of the resources. So the answer here is, oops, the answer here is 
first option because it is not just second option is just limiting it to land when land was just an example so they are competing for land and other resources various ethnic that is not rwanda is only for land and other resources right so ye sab abhi tak baat nahi hui thi when we had that example of rwanda right by an anthropogenic so as i said right anthro anthropology human kind anthropogenic means caused by humans so not because of lack of rains or deforestation right it's a drought caused by actions of human beings it can be our actions right now which is also causing climate change right so it's an anthropogenic anthropogenic climate change right question 3 according to the passage the drought at the time of maya collapse had a different impact compared to the droughts earlier because the droughts earlier may if you see there was land to go to yahan pe yeah there was still uninhabited parts right so why was this a severe one because there was nowhere for people to go there was absence of so you see guys compared to the earlier passage it's easier to eliminate options easier to see the right answer right so what maya king to baad mein aaye they came more or less towards the end not when not with the drought no, again no leadership it's three it's not the warfare nor the environmental degradation what was not even used right right so third i'll just mark it right so that we are not confused third is the right answer according to the author why is it difficult to explain so that was right in the beginning right that you don't know which strand is important there are these strands right still among because varied in importance so you don't know which was possible right and then only some sites it's available so now let's look at options open inhabitants open to the example hai baad mein right this is clearly wrong for it's some other part only nothing to do with maya constant deforestation no what is the reason for the absence of traces we don't know do not provide consistent evidence perhaps to a, which this is best right which factors best explains so consistent evidence theek hai alag alag we know ki pura area is not available but conflicting to bataya nahi hai right at least no this is not the reason so answer is option 4 option 5 which factor has not been cited as one of the factors causing the collapse so environmental degradation due to excess population maybe it's mentioned <laughs> i just said it's not mentioned let's just check um so drought however by the time the landscape so there was no and the whole population okay reliable water supplies nahi tha um climate change fair enough uh, okay there is no environmental degradation as such this deforestation okay let's see excess population hai okay social collapse due to excess population wo bhi hai because excess population hai people were fighting to ye bhi cause hai climate change is a cause drought hua correct excess population now between 1 and 5 who were obsessed guys with short term concerns it was only the kings not the population so you see this is a trick option we remember ki yeah, somebody was you know concerned and we may mark uh, you know five we may eliminate five and mark one but we know that the king were not uh, the population was not obsessed only the kings were so the trick option this is your answer right okay now there is this question type also that was pretty common in the cat uh it is paragraph completion now it does not have a similar you don't have a similar question type right now but this is very closely related to summarizing paragraph it's very closely related to paragraph jumbles also so guys it's a good idea to do them because it as i said it gives us cat mentality as well right most people at the first consultation take a furtive look at the surgeon's hands in the hope of reassurance okay so you have a paragraph and you have to read it and then you have to see which sentence will come will complete this completes the paragraph in the most appropriate way 
Okay, so most people take a furtive look. Prospective patients look for delicacy, sensitivity, steadiness, etc. On this basis, this guy loses a number of cases. Generally, he knows it's about to happen before even the patient does. The downward glance repeated, the prepared questions beginning to falter, the over emphatic thanks. So, people look at the surgeon's hands and they move away. Other people do not communicate due to the poor observation. No, they may not communicate because of poor communication, right? So, this due to their observation is wrong. The sentence is wrong. Other patients don't like what they see but are ignorant of their right to go elsewhere. Perhaps, right? So, some patients see, other patients, uh, some patients leave, right? They retreat, loses a number of cases they are seeing. So, some paper people... See, everybody is going to notice these hands, right? But some people lose, he loses cases. So, some people leave and some people do not leave. So, perhaps we will we'll put two. But Peron himself is not concerned. We, what he is feeling, it's not very clear, right? So, three is out. It's just changing the whole trend of the paragraph. This paragraph is mostly about his hands and how people behave. Others will take their place again. What he thought and I don't think as a surgeon he's going to think that other people will take this patient's place. Right? So as a sentence itself it's wrong and then again we are going into his thoughts. These hands are steady enough but uske liye to sentence, uh, pehle sentence mein hona na, hands ke baare mein kuch. So five is also out. Out of these options only two make sense. So that's your answer. Right? So one was logically wrong. 4 also was logically wrong and it was wrong because it introduced Peron's own thoughts, 3 and 4 both, right? But 4 was also logically wrong. And 5 is these hands are steady enough but they are large. So that also again these hands ke liye there is no connection. So the answer is option 2. <clears throat> Last question guys for today. Uh, trade protectionism. So again you have to read the paragraphs. Understand the main thrust and see what will complete. Trade protectionism disguised as concern for the climate is raising its head. Citing competitive concerns, powerful or holding out threats of a Levi on imports from developing countries. The actual source is of course the current lackluster economic performance combined with the challenges posed. So you say ki trade protectionism, right? Ko aap bol rahe ho ki it's actually climate concern. Okay, and then you are trying to levi threats on uh, imports or threats on other countries like China and India. So, we saw yesterday that you have to stick with the paragraph 1 and write the strategy, stick to the para, don't go beyond, don't introduce a new idea, right? Second is, do not go for extreme options unless kuch extreme hai bohat enough. So, for example, now extreme options matlab kya? Today's climate change champions are the perpetrators of global inequity, inequity, inequality. No, they are, I mean, perpetrators is too strong a word. They are not saying that they are going to actually, you know, lead to. So, they are just trying to save their own selves, right? So, five is extreme. Even three is extreme. Have come as a convenient stick to beat China and India. So, both three and five will eliminate because it is extreme. Now, the reason why we'll eliminate two, OECDs are taking refuge to issue trade barriers. Ye to already bata diya hai na? Ke power are holding out and, and right, they are using trade barriers. So, this is in some sense a rephrasing. That also, guys, you need to avoid. So, two is also out. Is evoked to bring trade through the back door. It's not the back door, no. So, there is no reason to mention backdoor. They are is evoked to bring protectionism. Trade protectionism would still be fine. The backdoor here is the problem, right? So, four works because you are saying that people who just want the status quo. See, these guys have lackluster performance and China and India are rising. You just want to defend the current status quo. So, those guys are posing as climate change champions. If you just compare four and five guys, up extreme ka matlab sab jhabu. 4 is just talking about defending, whereas 5 is talking about perpetrating and, you know, inequity, etc. So, always go for milder options, right? In English, generally, that's a very safe thing to do. Do not be extreme. Extreme option, nikal bahar, right? Great, guys. Your puzzle for the next session. 
I hope we understand what uh, the bar on top means, right? It means that the number is recurring. So what is, so you know, for example, this means it's point one two one two one two, right? So yeah, yeah. So what is the value of this? Please work on this, and we'll discuss it today evening. Your reading assignment is, uh, I mean, we just got the news of Chadwick Boseman uh, passing away because of colon cancer. So yeah, please read up on this, uh, an interesting uh, race and cancer analysis. We'll see each other again in the evening where we'll continue and wrap up CAD 2008K verbal questions. There were 40 questions in verbal for CAD guys out of which uh, questions are related to us. So I am not doing all those fill in the blanks and grammar questions because they are not going to come. But questions that relate to us are 24 out of which we have done 12 today. We will do 12 uh, in the evening, right? Um, you can find me also guys on Unacademy. As you can see, the, you have very good environment to learn from. You have the best uh, uh, educators, 1000 of them guys on this platform and daily updated content. We have just started our championship test, so you can definitely go. It's free for everyone. So please go ahead, at least subscribe uh, uh, for the free test. Please take it. It's a very good test. I took it myself today, right? There are a lot of doubt solving sessions uh, and test series also present with an academy subscription. Now, which subscription to go for? If you are, uh, you know, uh, decided on uh, CAT 20, ye saal hi MBA karna hai. So please go for the 12 month packages because there will be CD or something or the other that will be helpful to you. Uh, if you are confused between 20 or 21, then go for the 24 month package, right? You can use my code MUNIRA10 to get a 10% discount. I'll see you soon guys. Take care. Bye-bye.